Hi there, Miss Brooke here from the Garland County Library. I'm sure all of you are social distancing right now, which I'm very proud of you for doing so. As you can see, I am at my house and doing my part to stop spreading the virus. Um, I am here, however, to give you a tor 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 tutorial <laughs> on how to make a fabric face mask.
everybody. I'm talking to you through my microphone because I don't think you'd be able to understand me if I talk through my mask. So I'm trying it on here and as you can see I'm putting the loops, uh, the inner loops over my ears and tightening down with the outer loops. This makes it uh, a better fit around your face. Everybody has different size faces and so this is the best way to get everything just right for your face, your beautiful face. I've got the bread tie in there and you can see I'm pushing it down because I want that to fit over my nose. Um, I'm adjusting it a little bit. You want to adjust your mask once and only once and you want to make sure that you don't fidget with it later on. So as you can see this mask, the pleats that we made on the side make it fit snugly to the face there and you can see on the other side and uh, the top bread uh, little bread things are helping to fit it snugly to my nose and the top there so that's good and great. Uh, stay tuned for more tips on how to wear your mask properly and have it be the most effective thing for you. Thanks for watching!